joining us. Let's get a quick take on Colorado Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman joining other states in filing a lawsuit against Purdue Pharma, producers of OxyContin, claiming it ignited Colorado's opioid crisis. Patty Calhoun from Westward, uh, perhaps I'm being cynical, but th this lawsuit seems a little far-fetched to me. But what do you think? Well, she's joined in the state's lawsuit. Denver has, is looking at the city's lawsuits, similar. I might be missing something, but the point is these are legal drugs. That's why the drug company is making them, and they're prescribed by doctors. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on TV, but there are other people involved in this who are responsible. I would much prefer that the AGs take their time and energy and push medical marijuana as an alternative across the country, make sure it's secure for people who want a much safer alternative for pain medication. Krista Kafer, columnist of the Denver Post, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, this seems like a nonpartisan issue to me. Even though Cynthia Kaufman is a Republican AG, it doesn't seem like all the Republican AGs involved. Um, is it a nonpartisan issue? I would say it's nonpartisan, but I also would say it's misplaced. I mean, where's the discussion about personal responsibility? I've had to take Oxy. I've had what, five surgeries in 10 years. Uh, Oxycontin made those surgeries possible for me. It made my dad's cancer journey a little bit easier. It, uh, I've seen people go off of these things too. It's, it's difficult to get off, but there's a personal responsibility element that no one's discussing. That if you take these drugs uh, for surgery or for an event or for chronic pain, you have a responsibility to monitor, monitor your intake, and if you get addicted, you need to find ways to get off of those pills. What concerns me about these lawsuits is what if it makes it more expensive and more difficult to get pills when you actually need them? Penfield Tate, attorney with QTAC Rock, also a longtime state lawmaker. Uh, as our esteemed attorney at the table, uh, what chances do you give this lawsuit? You know, it's hard to handicap, Dominic, because it, there's the legal theory and there's sort of the, the common sense way you look at these things. Uh, the legal theory is that uh, the, the manufacturer was engaged in fraudulent marketing um, and advertising practices and deceptive. And, and I don't know how that works when I think the whole universe knows that these drugs are potentially addictive and, and they're prescribed by a doctor and patients have to regulate what they're taking. So I don't quite figure out, I can't understand the theory behind it. And, and I guess part of it is it depends on which jury you get um, and, and who's hearing it. So we'll see what happens. But I, I think the lawsuits are kind of misplaced for that reason. Ed C. Lever, reporter of the Denver Business Journal. Uh, Ed, I can tell you this, if this is successful, uh, Frank Azar and I are taking on Nabisco and Oreos because this was not my fault. <laughs> so, uh, Ed, as you look at this, should other drug makers be worried? Not yet. I think what you see is that local cities, uh, states across the country are going after Purdue right now. They're the biggest face on the opioid crisis. Uh, and they're kind of testing the waters here. If we see a big settlement coming from Purdue or if we see a, a court case go against Purdue, then yes, I think other drug makers should be worried. Uh, I also am very curious what's gotten into Cynthia Kaufman here. She wasn't a real activist AG in early on in her term. Now that she's ending the, uh, the term, she's gotten a lot more into ideas like this.